Curse you, shady vendors. You saw me frozen bloodworms that gave my fish enteritis. Many aquarists face this issue caused by bacterial or parasitic contamination in frozen bloodworms. Suppliers claim multi-step sterilization, which eliminates all pathogens. But that's impossible. If they're properly sterilized, why did my fish get sick? We tested three top-selling brands of frozen bloodworms, and let's uncover the truth. Know someone who swears by bloodworms? Share this video. They'll thank you later. Follow us to uncover more aquarium mysteries. Bloodworms are midge fly larvae inhabiting ponds and marshlands. Their 63.3% protein contents making them the premium fish food. Frozen bloodworms boast high nutritional values, rich in protein and amino acids, meeting the fish's daily dietary needs, enhancing nutrient absorption, boosting immune functions, and improving coloration. Their key advantage is convenience, ready to feed after thawing, hence their popularity among aquarists. Now we got some hardcore contents ahead. Make sure to like and save this guide to watch later. Our lab conditions, 23.6 degrees Celsius at 64% humidity. Thawed naturally for 10 minutes. After manual agitation and five times dilution. To optimize the identification of bacteria or parasites, after proper mixing, we transferred 100 microliter samples to the microscope slide heat fixed with flames, and gram stained. Microscopic examination at 1000 times with oil immersion. The primary morphological assessment to observe the shapes, size measurements, arrangement patterns, staining characteristics, and facilitate bacterial classification. Using the McFarland standard turbidity comparison, also a five time dilution, we estimated the CFU per mil for each brand with a rough bacterial count. For brand A, occasional gram-negative bacilli with no parasites or ova detected. For brand B, at 100 times microscopy with oil immersion, numerous gram-negative bacilli. Brand C, similar dispersion patterns, predominantly gram-negative bacilli, and no ova or parasites detected. So no parasites detected in all three brands, and the predominant bacteria, gram-negative bacilli. The bacterial load analysis for brand B, 43 million per CFU per mil. For brand C, 42 million CFU per mil, marginally lower than brand B. Brand A, 0.5 million CFU per mil. Case closed. These two brands are the culprits. Wait, that's not necessarily conclusive. Although suppliers applied UV sterilization, but absolute sterile is hardly possible. Some residual bacteria will remain. Brands B and C shipped from distant regions, likely underwent multiple freezing and thawing cycles. Ice crystals ruptured cells, releasing nutrients for bacterial proliferation. Now let's see how thawing times will affect the quantity and variety of bacteria. Our sampling intervals are set at 30 minutes, 2 hours, and 24 hours post-thawing. Samples collected and gram stain observation through microscopy. Brands B and C at 30 minutes or 2 hours showed no significant quantitative change, predominantly gram negative, and no morphological variation. Brand A at 2 hours, gram positive diplococci emerged. All brands showed exponential growth. Brands B and C persistent gram negative bacilli, but brand A diplococci coexisting with bacilli. Now we take 5 time dilution sampling after 2 hours and 8 hours and 10 time dilution sampling after 24 hours and conducted CFU enumeration. From 0 to 8 hours, leg phase. Bacteria growth is slow. From 8 to 24 hours, we observe logarithmic growth. Population doubling every 20 to 30 minutes. Brands A at 24 hours, roughly close to brands B and C at 0 hours, suggesting prior thawing during transit. Safe usage windows within 2 hours after thawing. After 8 hours, the bacteria will overload and the pathogen risk increases 300%. Our optimal methods 30 seconds cold water rinse minimizes bacterial growth. Also, it's best to purchase them in the winter. Only use local suppliers if in the summer. Remember, never feed frozen worms directly as that will cause intestinal shock. 
ever had enteritis cases? Share your experiences in the comments. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. That's all for today and see you next time.